up? It's me, Andrea Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. To be honest, I kind of feel a little bit like out of my element sitting here filming a video because I don't think that I've actually sat down to make a sit down talking video in probably like two months. So it's been a while, so bear with me. Today I thought that I would share something with you guys that you might not know about me. I don't think that you would know this about me because I've only had my YouTube channel since I was in eighth grade, I believe. The thing that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is how I am actually basically legally blind. If you guys never knew this before, if you know me in person, then you probably know this about me, but when I was in fifth grade, I realized that I could not see basically anything. I remember the day that I found out that I needed glasses actually. Well, I had been like suspicious about it before, but basically my mom and I were sitting somewhere random. I don't even remember where we were, somewhere out in public. She was like telling me to read some poster or something. And I was like, mother, that looks like a blob to me. Like I have no idea how anybody would be able to read that. And obviously like any mother, she freaked out and was like, what the heck? Like, how can you not see that? Like my daughter is blind. I went to the eye doctor and I got my very first pair of glasses when I was 10 years old. I probably needed them like way before that, to be honest, because my eyes were pretty bad. I have been a glasses slash contact lens wearer ever since that day. Honestly, it makes perfect sense. Like my dad is even more blind than me. So pretty much from the time that I was 10 years old until I was about 12 or 13, whenever I was in seventh grade, I wore glasses. I had those really, really awful, like awkward first pair of glasses that everybody gets that are like, thin like wire frames and they were like oval shaped I guess like so 2007. I had those glasses for a few years and pretty much once I became like a preteen I thought I was so cool and I was like mom these glasses are cramping my style like I need to get contact lenses. Pretty much back in those days like having glasses was kind of like a dorky thing I guess. I don't know, maybe it wasn't, but I just felt kind of like self-conscious about it. So um, pretty much when I was in seventh grade, I begged my mom for contacts and she was like, no, you're not old enough, like you're not responsible enough to have them or whatever, but finally I ended up convincing her and she finally let me get contact lenses. I personally love contact lenses. I think that they're great. Um, they have a lot of like convenient parts to them. However, a few years ago, glasses decided to come back into fashion. I see so many people wearing fake glasses. I decided that I wanted to get some glasses because I am blind, as you guys now know. And so I was like, I may as well at least have a pair of backup glasses to like go along with my contacts. And also like, it's just a thing, you know, it's a good look. Basically when I was in the ninth or 10th grade, I think it was, I went to my eye doctor and I was like, I think I want glasses and contacts because it's a thing now. Basically, they were like, yeah, you can get both, but like, it's gonna be super expensive. It's basically gonna be like $300, your insurance only covers contacts or something like that. Whatever, the point is it was extremely expensive. So, you guys know me, I am thrifty and I am a cheapskate. I decided to explore my resources and check out cheaper ways to get glasses. So I ended up stumbling across some people's videos on YouTube actually of um, ways that you can get glasses online for super cheap and they're actually like prescription glasses, they're really good quality and they deliver them like right to your house which is really awesome. So that sounded like a perfect thing for me. I decided to order from several of these glasses websites just to like check them out or whatever. The one that I really really like the best is called firmu.com. Pretty much it just ended up being such a great experience. Like I ordered from them completely on my own, paid for it with entirely my own money and they were awesome. Like their customer service was great. The glasses got there in like a good amount of time and they're so stinking cute. I will show you guys the pair that I got. So basically when it showed up to my door, this is what they looked like. It comes in this super cute case. It looks like a little map, which is absolutely adorable. These are the glasses that I got for my first pair and they look like this. They're like circular kind of golden frames and I don't know, I just saw people like posting pictures with glasses like these and I was like, I need some of these in my life. They're totally like prescription glasses. They can make any prescription that you want pretty much. They're super cute. I feel like round glasses are like back in style now. I feel like for a while they were out, but now they're like totally a thing again. They remind me of like half of the Snapchat filters nowadays have glasses like this. And then basically, once I had such a great experience with those ones, I contacted Fermu myself. Like they didn't ask me to do this or anything, but I was like, Fermu, I love you. And they're like, hey, thanks for supporting us. If you wanna talk about some glasses, 
we'll be happy to send you some and uh, just talk about them basically just tell everybody your honest opinion basically I got a second pair of glasses from them um, but like I said before I have loved this company and I ordered from them like on my own account these are the second pair that I have from them they are clear frames actually which after I got them I was kind of like this wasn't my smartest decision because if I'm not wearing my glasses and then I lose these, they're clear. So how am I gonna find them? Not the best move I've ever made, but they look really cute, which is like the main purpose of why I got them, I guess. Here's what these ones look like. I feel like clear glasses are also like a look nowadays, you know? So these ones have anti-reflective coating on them. You could probably tell the difference between these ones and like the other ones. Have more of like a blue sorta little shine and they're not as reflective, which is nice. And to get the reflective coating on them only costs an extra $5. So yeah, basically when you go on their website, they have like tons of frames to choose from. Any color any frame material like literally whatever you could want um, and all of their glasses are super inexpensive which is honestly like like I said before I'm kind of a cheapskate so that's basically what first like drove me to buy from them their most expensive frames are $39 so they're literally like most of them are in the $20 range or like 25 and then a bunch of them are like $19.99 they also have really great deals on there like all the time so you can totally get like them even cheaper than $40. They come with prescription lenses if you want to. If you have good eyesight, you can get them just plain. You can get anti-reflective coating, like anything you could really want that they have at like Lens Crafters or Eyeglass World, like you can get that all added onto your frames too. And then they also have a prescription and quality guarantee, which is great. So like if you get your glasses in the mail and they're wrong for some reason, um, their customer service is great. They're always super, super helpful. They reply really fast. I feel like a lot of times I'm hesitant to buy stuff online because I feel like it's more of a commitment. You don't have to worry about like being nervous about buying glasses online. I feel like glasses are something that's kind of important. Like if they have the wrong prescription or something like that's gonna be a bad situation. So it kind of felt risky for me the first time to buy them online instead of like going to an actual store. Um, but it really like it has that guarantee so there's basically nothing to lose if you guys Need some prescription glasses, but you don't want to spend like four hundred dollars on them. You should totally go for this um, I would highly recommend at least trying them out like they have great deals Like I said all the time actually right now they have a buy one get one free deal So you can literally get two pairs of glasses for like twenty dollars which is kind of insane the one thing I will say though they don't have like name brand frames so if you're like somebody who's really picky about like wanting Ray-Bans or Oakley's or something that's like super specific um, they don't have actual name brand frames for me I don't really care like that's not something that I really think about I'm not like they have to be designer you know they have ones that like look like dupes for Ray-Bans or anything else that you would want anyways yes yeah, so basically that is what I wanted to speak about with you guys in this video like I said before I really like these glasses and I wouldn't be talking about them unless I actually like them totally check them out if you want to this could probably help you out in a big way and save you a lot of money which who doesn't like saving money also if you guys don't need glasses and you just want some chill frames i would also highly recommend checking them out i don't know some people have like problems with people wearing glasses who don't actually need them i personally don't really care sorry for my awkwardness i have not filmed a video in a very long time like i said i'm really gonna try to get better about it thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope that you guys are having a wonderful day a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys.